to make it really difficult for you to edit the video? Uh, it makes it a little harder, yeah. <laughs> this stuff might get cut anyway. <laughs> so, okay, camera. Hey, what's up, everyone? Oh, normally Pat's there to do the other half. I usually say hello, and he's, he continues. So, oh, yeah, hey, Pat what's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, it's Pat. Pat's now my brother. So, uh, Pat's not here tonight. He's, he's off, but my brother and his girlfriend came up to do uh, the Savage Race tomorrow. And I thought it'd be interesting, one, just to get them on, and two, to see what the impressions are of the Savage Race, because neither of you have done them, right? Mm -hmm. So get the before and the after. So we're going to do like 15 minutes now for before, do another 15 minutes after, bada bing, bada boom, history. <laughs> <laughs> so you all know me. Uh, I'm Josh. This is Donovan. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself a little bit. I go by Donald now. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> And out of picture here is uh, Andrea. Hi. Who's, who's not important at all. <laughs> She's strategically out of camera. Yeah, strategically. Right. Her choice, not ours. <laughs> Hashtag women's rights. <laughs> Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> but so you, you've been to my place before. Yes. This is your first time here, yeah. right? How do you like it? It's spacious. Oh, good. <laughs> I like that. It, I mean, it's spacious to a small person. Oh, is. yeah, she's very small. You can't see because she's not on camera. <laughs> Strategically placed. I so I, I, I feel like you purpose. didn't like my pork. I liked your pork. Because you had sushi afterward. I was really, I'm really hungry. Are you really hungry? Yeah. <laughs> I, I made pork tonight and I put way too much salt on it. And uh, yeah, it's the first time I made pork in a while. So I thought it was good. It was a little salty. It was a little salty. No, it was good. No, it was good. Yeah, it I'm not uh, picky. I just like to eat a lot. I feel you. <laughs> That's why I made, what was it, three pounds of it? Yeah. <laughs> If you my got tongue was a slug, it'd be dead right now. But <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you're gonna store up all that water so you don't get dehydrated tomorrow. I mean, that's just right. science that I made up right now. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, <laughs> but I don't know how true it'd be. But sure, if you say it with enough confidence, need, people believe it. This is very true. You need electrolytes, though. Yeah, you know. I think there's electrolytes in kefir. This mandarin orange, Doctor D's kefir. Not sponsored, but please give me money. <laughs> Electrolytes, citric acid, same thing, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I don't either, but it, I sounds, it sounds like it'd be, you know, I'm going to take a word of advice from you. Um, yeah, so electrolytes and citric acid, they're basically the same thing. Oh, oh, they are. You said that with such confidence that I believe you now. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> Damn, boy. Damn. Damn, okay, you know? so neither, neither of you have run the race. No. What are your thoughts? No. What are you expecting going into it? Because I know you looked at the stuff, mm -hmm. like the the preview. Yeah, we looked things. at it yesterday no, night, actually, or this morning, actually. And we found a couple. Some of them were missing, like the obstacles that are on the list for us to do. Oh, really? Like, there's like one or two. Yeah, they didn't have like, you know, the, the describing picture mm -hmm. and the description. What, what was in there? Because I haven't looked. Uh, so I guess they emailed out like a, a roadmap, if you will, mm -hmm. of the race course. And then it, it laid out where each uh, obstacle was and what it was like it gave you the name of it it didn't give you a description or a picture or like that oh okay. so from there you know we use that information to find you know okay so we got the the big cheese you know let's figure out what it looks like or what exactly that is because i mean big cheese isn't really <laughs> it's not descriptive no it's not. <laughs> so yeah that's what it, yeah. were there any water ones this time um... i don't think there was there's definitely a swamp one yeah there's a lot of crawling ones we have to do too yeah the crawling ones, I didn't have a problem with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what happened last time is the third obstacle was, I think, one of the swamp ones. And it was just a big fucking puddle of water that mm -hmm. you had to run through. You could have just ran around. But my thought was <laughs> that there's going to be more water ones later. Right. So I thought, I'll just get wet now. There weren't. <laughs> there weren't any more water ones. So I just got my shoes wet and had waterlogged shoes for the entire race. Yeah, I mean, as far as uh, there's a swamp one. I don't know like how like swampy it is, but... There is one there, according to them. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then there's like uh, there's a few like low crawl ones. So, I mean, you'll get dirty from that. There's one rock climbing one as well. Like oh, yeah. Well, not like rock climbing, but like there's... Wall I, climb. Yeah, wall climb. So, it's like a big like parabola with holes. I, I think that's... Ooh, good word. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how a like, better way to describe that. But um, so, yeah, it looks like a... A parabola of Swiss cheese. <laughs> it's the name Big Cheese, I think. Okay. I can dig that. Yeah. That'll be cool. So, and as far as like the low crawls go, I saw that and all that makes me think of is during my time in basic training, 
where we low crawled for like four hours and I hated myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to be super interested to see your thoughts on it um, specifically after because right. since you went through basic training, mm-hmm. I assume that there's a lot of similarities, but it's going to be easier. It, it looks like a lot of similarities and it, like from like how they were describing the pictures I could see of the obstacles. I mean, I'd say about 50 to 60 percent of those I've done. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I, I, I might have trouble with it, but. I know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. So in cases like her, who's never really done (laughs) obstacles or something like that, I mean, I'll know like the tactics, if you will, as far as teamwork goes and like how, you know, each person should use themselves. You can kind of direct the team. Right. So it'll be interesting. And I think we have, uh, you're definitely, definitely the most experienced because of of yeah, like that's, military that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and i've i've ran the, the race once right but then you've never done it mm-hmm. and uh marissa's never done it mm-hmm. so i think we're gonna just have a nice little leisurely yeah. time <laughs> we're gonna bond we're all gonna be wearing green are we did you bring green i actually did but not on purpose <laughs> <laughs> did you no oh, i don't have it's a more of not a, it's oh, a it's fancier not, shirt yeah it's not okay so she did not bring green Oh, you meant for... Uh, yeah, like going out later or something oh. like that. Oh. I, I mean, I brought a green shirt that I can get dirty. Okay. So it doesn't matter to me. I, um, I went to go try to find green sweatbands because oh. Marissa said she found one for like a dollar. Did we ever discuss wearing green? No, I just figured it was St. Patrick's Day. I was got, It was going to be a gift. I was like, oh, here, we can all wear green, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. So I just have green shorts. Oh. Like running shorts. Okay. I mean, but, I brought running shorts, but okay. Yeah. So we'll 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 find something green for you. I mean, I have a green shirt. It's just for her. We need to. Oh, we need something green. I wonder. I might have an old green shirt that I can like rip up. Do you have some green spray paint? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can just paint my whole body. She has a green card. <laughs> oh, you have a green card. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Keep it in your <laughs> That's what I'll, I'll, I'll rip up one of my old shirts, and then you can just like wear an armband like you're an SS soldier. That sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you want to be an SS soldier? <laughs> yep, you, you got me. Oh, she you is. heard it here, everyone. She, <laughs> she is like a Jewish. She is a quarter, you know, German. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your granddad was a Nazi. Yeah, he. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Do you have like Nazi memorabilia? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I think he got rid of that. Her, her grandfather was like legit. I'm like a, sure. really? Sure that's... Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> Family history. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we all got some crazy shit. Oh yeah. yeah. Slave, slave. I mean, I know, I know for a fact part of my family history were like slave owners of some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I mean South Carolina. Yeah, you can't really get away from that. Though. No. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have Puerto Rico, and then before that, it was like Spain. Stop lying to people. Oh, you're right. I'm German, dude. There was a guy at work, and we were we were sitting around. We were having like a team lunch. We were sitting around, yeah, and oh, you're fine. Uh, so we were sitting around and we were talking about like our, our background ethnicities. I'm like, yeah, I'm half Puerto Rican and then half like mutt. It's like, no, you're not Puerto Rican. Like, <laughs> he just well, tells you, no, you're not this. Yeah, because he's, he's Hispanic and he's traveled a bunch. He's like, no, I think you're German. Like, All right, dude, <laughs> whatever, whatever you say, I'm not going to fight you on this. Right. But it was funny. Way to uh-huh. assume your ethnicity, you know. I know. What a rude man. <laughs> yeah. Way to mansplain to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's interesting how someone can just like, no, you're you're not what you think you know you are. Yeah, you know. No. I would. I do want to do the twenty three and me though, you told to me. see to see what I actually my background is because I know I'm I'm very much of a mutt. I had yeah. a train of thought and I lost it. Oh my god! <laughs> related to that? No, no. Like I had it, and then it just it was immediately gone. The ADD kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Plus so. you you're hopped up on sugar now. No, that's not. That's like, no. Oh, because you're an addict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throwing you under the bus <laughs> on not live I, I podcast mean, yeah, radio. Right? But like, I mean, what you knew me as is like when I was growing up, and like my sugar addiction, if you will, I don't think is anywhere near what it what it used to be as is currently. Oh, definitely, dude. De- <laughs> you would go to sleep almost every night with a pack of Twizzlers or like Sour Patch okay, Kids. Okay, that, that, that is a that is a, that is an exaggeration on all points, but I mean, it's not far off. <laughs> <laughs> Like it wasn't like every night, but definitely like like three times out of the week. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was very obtainable for me. So. Yeah, I don't know how you're not a huge fat ass. <laughs> Somehow Lynn's words stuck. <laughs> you hear as that, mu- mom? As much you've as done I, good. As much as I did not want to listen to him, I did not agree with him. They stuck somehow. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe this actually is bad for me. And here we are. Yeah. So 
yeah, I think I've actually done pretty well lately. I mean, like I meal prep every week, but that's more or less so I can control our spending habits on food because I'm so damn cheap. <laughs> yeah, you're no. See, you keep saying that, and every time you say it, you're frugal because you'll spend money on things that are important. Yes. But you like you'll not cut corners, but you'll you'll restrain from spending exorbitant amounts of money when you don't need to. Right. Yeah. So. I, yeah. Exactly. I cut corners when I can. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather spend little. Spend little, say big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, like I'd rather, you know, groceries, for example. I, I mean, I don't need to have a full kitchen. I buy what I need for the week or the two weeks I'm buying for and then, you know, save that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It doesn't need to be explained. <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, this whole thing is just like right, explaining arbitrary right. stuff. So, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's, I, that's the best way I can explain it. It's just. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys plan out together or is that like one of your tasks? Mm. We mean kind of like we I mean go we go grocery shopping together, so it's a matter of okay, do you know what you want to eat for this week? Yeah, you know what you're gonna make for lunch and dinner, and I know what I'm gonna make for breakfast and lunch. So and then we'll we go figure from out, yeah, and then we figure out what snacks the other is not gonna eat. Yes, right. <laughs> She's not allowed to buy, and that this actually goes back to like the sugar thing. Like I don't allow her to buy like ice cream and shit like that because I will eat it. Mm-hmm. And if she does, it has to be something I will not eat. Yeah. Will eat <laughs> so that's kind of where like. That frugality has come in, into play. Like I can control my sugar addiction. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to spend the extra money on it. Yeah, but she will spend the extra money on it, and then I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, because so. it's there. I can't it's, control it's myself. It's there, and I didn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, once it's there, and even if you did pay for it, the money's gone. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You can't so, do anything about it. You're not going to be point. the jackass who's returning food. <laughs> yeah. Like, who do you think you are? Right. Oh, your bacon was bad. Suck it up. Buy another pack. <laughs> Unless it's like actually bad. I, I if it's no, no, meat, no, no, I know I but... that shit. <laughs> like oh no, I mean, like that's that's one thing. But like oh, you know what? I decided I didn't want this pack of steaks. Give my money back. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's it's kind of shitty. Yeah, or like going to a restaurant and saying no, I just didn't like this food. Like oh yeah, ver- you know versus like okay, you just made it bad versus it's just not for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or if there's like bugs in it yeah and like for that. sure yeah <laughs> return it but bring, you know bring your pet cockroach with you <laughs> oh you have a pet cockroach still yeah. <laughs> what's this one's named tommy tommy hillfinger oh i dress him two of them i dress him up no no tommy hillfinger oh one name is that is like that the... a social commentary on capitalism <laughs> <laughs> it can be are you banksy <laughs> <laughs> i mean anybody's banksy everybody's banksy that's the whole purpose behind banksy wow it's hashtag like hashtag deep it's like batman <laughs> the whole point of the mask is that anybody could be behind it but i'm too short to be batman no it's it's up there there we go <laughs> i was looking at the at the, the computer's going like oh I yeah know. i see myself so that's where the camera must be right <laughs> it takes a bit to get used to right i just try not to ignore it i mean I, I feel like when i was younger like remember when you were doing like the um your i don't know photography or videography class like pickle cat like that? Oh, the, the, the well, photos that, that too. That's a better example. Like, I mean, there was a couple times where I had to help you out with it or I was in it. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times when I was younger, I did not like being pho- photographed. I didn't like being videotaped. So this is kind of a confidence booster. I don't feel like as... Like, it's not as big of an issue. Right. Though. Like, as it is with her. No offense. Like, I understand it. But, like, it's... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it took it, me... It feels a, good. Yeah. It, it's like an extra level when you're comfortable with a camera being on right. you. Like, it took me a while. That's one of the reasons um, I started this with Pat was because I was sitting by myself on a computer all the time. So it was a way for me to talk to people more and get used to, like, presenting and right. being watched, kind for of lack like, of a better word. Kind of like a um, a self-taught public speaking class. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's like uh, Toastmasters, but so to- uh, it's, a, it's a group that pe- they do, like, speeches every month or so, and then they give you critiques. Oh, okay. So... Enough about us. Let's go on to Andrea. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get you to talk more on part two. Oh no. Because <laughs> no, no, no. Let's start it now. So now she she'll be prepared for it next time. No, I'm still sniffly from my cold. Well, so, I so, so am I. I've got mucus I'm in the back have of my a... Well, we also we have to go do winter talk. True. Okay. So that 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 was my transition out. <laughs> All right, Andrea, you suck. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> okay, but but she does have to do the transition from the last one or from this current podcast to the next one okay so figure it out okay how are you gonna how are you gonna transition the audience guide them from part one to part two get that speaking voice ready <laughs> oh gosh i'll work something you out. can't really no, do, do it whole... right now no <laughs> you can't do, 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 just say all right folks thanks for watching <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. what's the name of your uh, podcast junk drawer junk drawer so i mean since you're not a man that i'm aware of 
Um, you can't really do the whole, all right, guys, this is junk drawer. We'll catch you next time. You got to do the whole sexy way. Like, this no. Is no. <laughs> you listen to, like, Miami radio. Uh, no? No. It just, well, music from my Pitbull. Think Pitbull, <laughs> but like a lady. Dolly. <laughs> Okay, I'll find. I'll do the intro. No, no, no. Make her do it. No, I don't want to do it. Uh, okay, she'll she'll do the intro after this. All intro right. into part two. Okay. Okay. Oh, gotcha. You won't be on camera. It'll be fine. Okay, I'll coach right. you beforehand. All right. You'll ha- you'll be so adrenaline up from the run. You'll be like, fuck yeah, Josh. I can do anything. I'm a strong independent woman and fuck Donovan. It's Donald, thank you. Yeah, fuck Donovan. See you next time, guys. And we're back. Hey guys, welcome back to part two. <gasps> you did it! <laughs> Proud of you. With minimal coaching, too. <laughs> Ma- no extensive coaching. <laughs> extensive needed, coaching. I needed a pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Uh, just for reference, we just finished the Savage Race a couple hours ago. Drove home, got Zaxby's. Uh, here's the medal for proof. It's right there. Uh, Andrea is wearing a shirt, but she does not want to be on camera. <laughs> Just for clarification, it's a uh, participation medal. We did not win anything. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun. Yes, we we won friendship. We did win friendship, <laughs> and that's the the, the best uh, prize of them all. It right? is the best currency out there. Exactly. Wow. So what what did you guys think though? Now oh, that you've had your first savage race, it was awesome. The obstacles are definitely. Some of them were harder than others, but... There was too much crawling. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of crawling. I could have done without that part. Everything else was fine. Yeah. They they definitely upped the blitz game. Because I think last year was the first time they had done blitzes. I could be wrong. But <laughs> they were... Like, the, the warped wall with the rope wasn't there. Right. The water slide wasn't there. Um, the big water trench wasn't there. So it was yeah. a lot... I think a lot closer to what the actual Savage Race right. is. Yeah, I felt like there could have been a lot more, uh, I, I would say, interactive obstacles. Like, what do you mean? But like a lot of them were like you know crawling or like walking through something. Like I mean, okay, cool. That's mm-hmm. cool. Once, like I said, there's too much crawling. We did it like five times. Yeah, I was like, eh. they wanted us to get dirty. I mean, a lot, <laughs> there could have been a lot more of like the like the hands on like upper body. Oh kind yeah, kind of obstacles. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not just crawling. <laughs> My favorites were definitely like the sawtooth. Is that, yeah. That's what it was I called. Like right? one, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Only because I actually did it and didn't think I'd be able. Right. To. Yeah. No. I, I like that one. The uh, the warp wall was really cool. Yeah. Like you always see the uh, like the, the Ninja Warrior TV show. Yeah. Had, that's like a big one on there. It's like, oh yeah, now I can do it. You know, granted they don't have a rope, but <laughs> and there's all the warp wall also curves back. Yeah. So you have to jump at a certain point. right. So but the yeah. the sawtooth for anyone listening was. It was like an M shape, right? Mm-hmm. It was an M shape yeah. of monkey bars over a puddle of water. And yeah, and they did not do it at the beginning of the race. They did it after uh, we had already trucked through water. So our hands were wet and the <laughs> monkey bars were wet and the grip that was on there was already torn off. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. I, I spent a solid five minutes just shaking out my hands so I could do I, it. I just went for it and then I got up there. I was like, I could not stay on one spot for too long. I could just feel like my grip was loosening up. I could just feel my, my fingers... <laughs> just, like that. Like, okay i just gotta keep moving okay cool <laughs> you you've made it to the end right yeah i made it to the end okay you and i made it i, I think just you just right bailed right? <laughs> you're like fuck it i'm not going for this anymore <laughs> well you did a swim which is arguably harder <laughs> <laughs> yeah i swam with my shoes on so you know very yeah. <laughs> how deep was that it wasn't too deep okay. like, right could you stand right, up yeah it went oh, right God. to my shoulders like right above them that, oh that's pretty deep though yeah so i just like you know did my little swim the entire time towards the end of it all i could think of is like it's like towards the end when you're going down the the, the, the slope of the buzzsaw, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's oh yeah. Like every time you go down, you're kind of swinging, mm-hmm. and I was just afraid of swinging and falling and then going face first in that little platform. That you're supposed <laughs> to land oh on. yeah. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Like okay, cool. I can't quit now. <laughs> yeah. You know what helped me was I actually watched some people do obstacle courses, mm-hmm. not in training. There's right. just I, some YouTube videos right. I found, and seeing them control themselves down, like right. oh, now I get it's it. It's not just yeah. you know. You know, childhood monkey bars. You're swinging. <laughs> you're um, kind of controlling yourself. Yeah, trying to at least. Oh man, I one time when I was, I think I was eight or nine, maybe younger. I was at a jungle gym, and I met this kid, and we were like playing, going on the the uh, monkey bars, and for some reason we thought it'd be a good idea for him to try to go across. I mean, hold on to his his back, <laughs> and I think we made it two, maybe three, 
And he's just like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Falls Let's go. You. Falls and, like, lands right on my solar plexus. Uh. And that's the first time I re- ever remember not being able to breathe. Uh. Just, uh, uh, uh. Spasming. It's yeah. happening. <laughs> yeah. This is the worst feeling ever. <laughs> oh, my God. I was in shock. Yeah. I remember just walking over to my mom, like, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> to give you the high, like, hits it again. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> you're, I'm, you're so mean, Taylor. <laughs> I don't know if Taylor was his name. <laughs> Too far back. You're just mad that he like landed on you. Yeah, fuck that kid. <laughs> fuck that kid. Him is doing things not on purpose. Yeah. But no, it was uh, Savage Race was fun. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that they they have that's super distracting. <laughs> I'm glad that they they have so you can buy another race on the day and it's like sixty one dollars flat, and it's good for whenever. So now I have another race. I think Marissa did it too. Do they yeah. register your name or is it like a coupon book code? Thing? There's a coupon code. Okay. See, I feel like I would lose that like as, as soon as I got home. I think that's what they're banking on. <laughs> that's why I didn't do it, honestly. Really? Yeah. Because I mean, I, like, next time we do it, if I've got the schedule time, mm-hmm. or able to schedule it into my time, I'm 100% for it. It's just like I would lose that. I know. Yeah. It. <laughs> and so she, she would she. Yeah. She yeah. lost her phone five minutes into being here <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we got home and immediately was asking where her phone was and, was, and you know where it was where was it under Andrea? my wallet under your wallet yeah. every day when she gets home and she freaks out every time too hey now it's a phone's an important thing nowadays <sighs> oh it is it's got a part of us on me has all of my passwords and credit cards on it yeah. <laughs> do you, you uh have a password manager i don't i, no? I call it my uh I don't know if it's safe for me to say it. <laughs> At least use my notepad. I call it my uh, email, and I just email everything to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I save it. <laughs> I think, um, doesn't Android have a built-in password manager? They do. Um, you just don't trust it? Yeah, but then again, you know, I save my credit cards to it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There, there, there's like, there's there's a difference, I guess. I don't know. I mean, like, credit cards can be canceled. Mm-hmm. Debit cards can be canceled. Accounts not as much. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot, more it's a lot harder. Yeah. So, would you want to do? Do you think you'd be able to do the the full Savage Race at the pace we were doing it? <laughs> if I actually had trained, like if I actually trained up for it, mm-hmm. I think I would. And like you know, got myself some better endurance because you. I mean, usually if I'm like whenever I'm in my like fitness moods, if you will, like mm-hmm. you know, those couple months I actually work out. I'll, my the most I'll run is two, maybe three miles, and three miles is very rare because I just hate running. It's not fun. No, but I also mm-hmm. like usually I'll run on a treadmill just because it's cooler inside, and then that I set it at a certain pace. And of course, I'm like, oh, let's go faster. I want to go faster, 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 and then yeah. I have to wear myself out. So, well, also treadmills are easier because if you're you running on a pace tre- yourself, <laughs> no, not just that, but on a treadmill, the ground moves for you, so you're just mm-hmm. picking your feet up. But oh, if, when you're on the on actual ground, you have to project yourself yeah. forward. I, mean, I guess, yeah, true. So run outside. <laughs> <sighs> but it's hot. I know. Like, we live in Florida, and it's terrible. There. I know that. That's why, like, right now is great. You can run pretty much any time. But right. otherwise, you have to get up early. Even then, it's mm. just like you get that nice misty dew that just sticks oh. to you, and you breathe it in, and then you want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's like breathing in water. It's, it's exact. I mean, and we're not fish, so it doesn't work. <laughs> it's like. Oh, tomorrow's forecast, 98 with 90% humidity. <laughs> oh, it's killing me. Perfect. And people say they love this state. No, you don't. Yeah. Well, there's parts of it. If you're on the beach, it's dope. Dope. <laughs> dope. But otherwise, like, Orlando, it's it's funny because Orlando's so different than everything around it. Mm-hmm. Right. Driving out to Dade City, it felt like a totally different place. Because right. everywhere is very country, you're, very you're rural. Very, you're a city surrounded by the the country basically yeah which i, I guess I, is all cities but yeah true but what well, no because most i'd say like like tampa for example it's surrounded by the suburbs same with with st mm. pete good point um orlando i don't know what's east of it i've never been out that way but i'm assuming BFE. is it bfe <laughs> until yeah. you get like the coast and all that shit mm-hmm. but um but yeah i mean it's straight up just surrounded by country yeah so and and orlando's also not condensed like st pete or tampa is not as much so mm-hmm. there's too many competing like foci right because mm-hmm. yeah. you have you have downtown then you have ucf which is a city in its own right yeah. and then you got disney you have <laughs> disney which is a city in which its is own. you know just orlando but <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah no, i mean but... i swear they employ half of ucf i bet I, I can imagine i mean they've got such a huge empire down here but 
Mm -hmm. Besides the point. Not just here. 40% of all media, I think, is owned by them. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say to Disney. (laughs) Right. Yeah, they own a lot. Have you ever seen that chart where it's... it's, um, It has a web of everything they like are basically connected to, right? Mm -hmm. Not just them, but like... uh, Is it GM? Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson. I own stock in them. And I bought it right before the whole like oh our talcum cal- uh, talcum powder causes cancer thing and we no. knew about it so now i'm losing money on him oh shit but the weed stock's keeping it afloat <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah man so i'm telling you down the road it's going to be fully legal that's pretty uh, close that's what i'm banking on and that's what i'm gonna make my riches on hopefully <laughs> yeah not crypto no no you want to lose thousands of dollars like i did i yeah my, my, my buddy did the same thing he um i think he put like five grand into it mm-hmm. and at, at the highest point he had maybe 20 grand out in you know, just out of his five so i mean what is that 400 percent profit yeah and he was like oh you know what? i'm gonna sit on it let's see what happens and he lost it he should have just taken it yeah that's what i told him like dude t- take it out now take it out now nope did not yep it was a good lesson yeah like for me because i think i put in 3500 and that's was not it, bad it's not terrible and i and i could afford it at the time right i think i got it to like 6.5 mm. and then yep splat yeah so now it's now I think my holdings are below nine hundred. And you uh, you can't justify selling like selling it to get the money back. You just are like let's let's hope let's maybe one day it'll come back. Yeah, my mm-hmm. my thing is now if there's somewhere online that I can actually use it, I'll just buy it that way. Right. Because I do I do like the idea of it. So if I can support the like, it was just the big economy. the big thing with it, it was just it was a fad, and everyone wanted a part of it, and then that's what blew it up, and then bu- the bubble popped. Mm-hmm. So not a fad, but. It, but it was a fact. That's the best way I can put it in terms, you know? Yeah. I mean, you, you can kind of correlate it to something like the internet bubble. Right. Or the dot-com bubble, where just so many players came in, and then... Right. But has it has that even popped yet? Dot oh, that com? popped in the 90s. Did it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh the, the, the initial internet bubble. Oh, okay. Like, Amazon made it through some really big mm-hmm. internet companies, but otherwise, everything fell. Oh, I didn't so know was, that. Yeah, yeah. That, it happens every... Couple years. Like whatever, yeah. Like the housing market. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think um, school loans are going to be the next one. School loans, oh, yeah. Because yeah. you can't, you can't default on it. No, I can't wait to see what happens. You can't. <laughs> no, that's with you. You oh. even yeah. if you go bankrupt, it's that debt still follows you. you. That's how I remember you saying that. Mm-hmm. That sucks. That's why I told Andrew. She just go bankrupt. <laughs> just no, restart. No. Yeah. Okay. Why not? They still stay with you. <laughs> yeah, which is insane. I love debt. <laughs> <laughs> It's how much I love money. <laughs> <laughs> that I love having negative money. <laughs> I'll just uh, make more out of my printing press. It's so ridiculous, too. Are, you, are you in debt? I mean, other than the mortgage, no. Oh, okay. And then RuneScape Gold. And then RuneScape Gold, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't buy my gold, but... <laughs> no, but you owe me 1.5 mil, so... Uh-oh. I don't. Five <laughs> mil. But no, I mean, like... I don't know. I think that, that was... Whenever I got out of uh, high school... And my parent, my dad was like pushing me. I was like, okay, I was only working weekends at the delivery mm-hmm. place. And I was trying to find a sec- second job. But like he pushed me to like, okay, go get another job or you know go to call or go to school. I'm like, well, I can't afford school. It's a lot of money, and debt wasn't even like or taking out loans wasn't even in my, in my mind at the time. At the time, mm-hmm. that wasn't even like an option. So that's what caused me to join the military. Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck, this is expensive. Let's go army. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I don't um. Maybe it's just retrospect, but you taking on loans doesn't seem like your personality. No, I mean, I've, well, before, like, not you and I met, before, like, I moved down here, like, officially, mm-hmm. I live with my mom, and she, I mean, she's a school teacher. We all know they're un- underpaid. Yeah. And my mom is not the greatest with money, um, like, as far as, like, investing and saving and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Not in the sense, like, you know, Don and Lynn are. So... I grew up with with her, you know, constantly hearing like the financial struggle struggle of like, okay, you know, we can't do this or something this week or whatever. We because I have no money. I was like, well, and that mm-hmm. I remember that like stressing me out, and just I remember thinking like, okay, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to have to worry about it. So that's kind of what pushed me not to go into major debt other than mm-hmm. a mortgage. And yeah. even that was like the mortgage I, I could uh, I could justify because there's kind of. There's a possibility of a, of a, a light at the end of the tunnel. That makes sense. That and rent. you're going to be spending money regardless. Right. It it's either well rent. I'll get equity. Yeah. Yeah. And I think your your first house was really cheap. Dirt cheap. Like <laughs> 60. Like, like brand new BMW cheaper. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can like 
on any given day, I could probably point out a couple cars that cost more than my house. Tesla. Yep. Model S. Exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, given the area, I lucked out. I mean, mm-hmm. what I have in Brooksville versus what we can get in St. equivalent Pete. in St. Pete is just mm-hmm. world apart. Price oh, wise. yeah. So, and that's just like, and that's another thing that kind of sucks for me buying a house down there right now or looking to buy a house is like, it's hard for me to justify it. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, you know, I, in Brooksville, I pay like, 50 bucks per square foot down here they want me to pay 150 yeah, yeah fuck that <laughs> so yeah but it but it is cool to be you're you're 22 right mm-hmm. to be 22 and have like a passive income already set i don't really consider it a passive income no no because all the money that I, that I profit off of it like the net just goes back into the house it stays in an account i don't touch it unless i absolutely have to but that's still a that's still passive income because you're, you're just building that that equity in yeah, the house. Yeah, if someone else is paying my. No. Yeah, it, it's something that you won't you won't see the the fruits of it until you're like ready to get rid of thirty two yeah, or so. Or whenever that area just skyrockets, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm banking on. Keep expanding roads. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps spreading out wide. <laughs> yeah. Urban sprawl. Exactly. So. That's what I'm banking on. Yeah, I was looking at getting <laughs> something, some sort of investment property. Oops, but it's just it's so much money. But you're also you're you're kind of in the uh, the mindset of. This is not where you want to stay. And yeah, you're you're ready to pick up and go at any moment. I mean, if if the scenario is right. Yeah, there's there's that, and yeah, that that's a big part of it. So I mean that, and being like a landlord on top of you know living in Colorado, it's either really expensive or just extremely dif- difficult. Or yeah. Both. <laughs> what I would want to do is what Mitch does. So Mitch is my friend who owns this, mm. and he he lives in Ohio now, but the management company that's associated with the complex mm. they do everything right and he's so, just they, they take it out of uh whatever yeah so i, I think <laughs> let, let's just say for a number his mortgage is like 500 mm-hmm. they charge me 800 and they take that extra right on top and that's what a lot of i mean the only downside to him is he's not making a profit at the moment but again you're paying his mortgage mm-hmm. so and it's cheap living for you so yeah exactly but um i lost train of thought yeah oh mortgages invest like investment property is like i was like i, I considered buying like a little like a duplex or a triplex mm-hmm. living in one of the, the things and with how high rent is and someone could pay them mortgage and i could live for free yeah but then you know you're living next to your tenant i don't know how busy my job's gonna be during the summer and that kind of thing so if something breaks like fuck what, i can't get there on time yeah or i'm gonna be way too fucking tired to do it so yeah as as someone who was an ra and shared a room mm-hmm. it's like it can get weird yeah <laughs> Like the the yeah. first year, I had two people I didn't know. Right, and that was it. Was the they were cool guys, so it worked out. But I, if they had been like rough people, right. Hmm. <laughs> so they, you're running a big risk there, right? So that yeah, that's further down the line. I mean, I, that's something I would like to get down, like to get into later in my life is just having you know becoming a real estate mogul, mogul, mm-hmm. not like huge or anything like that, but enough to have enough to where I can live off of it. Yeah, yeah. Or Which, at and least depending make on a, a decent enough passive income where I don't have to work all the time. Yeah, you know and mean? depending on where you want to live, that's not hard. Right. So St. Pete, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, what about you? What do you want to do with your life? I'm going to be a dental hygienist. What? <laughs> that's much less complicated than his. Clean all your teeth. Explain what For that is. Free. The For path the of I, I just like did. Myself. I just did. <laughs> I just did. Well, it's okay. Teeth. Well, what's the difference between a de- dental hygienist and a uh, a dentist? They're literally the same. <laughs> well, if they were the same, they wouldn't have different titles. Got them. Yeah, well, the dentist just they can diagnose and. Like, so it's like a doctor. But dental hygienist can't diagnose. So yeah. It's so it's like, like a the, nurse and a doctor. Yeah, nurse board. practitioner versus doctor, in that kind of sense. Mm. Okay. How, how long do you have? Um, I have to do my gen eds, so I'll be done with that in August, and then got to apply in August as well. Oh, okay. And then maybe I'll start in January next year. It just depends on whether they'll take my application since I haven't finished. I have microbiology mm-hmm. to finish in August, so that's the last thing I have to do. Her okay. last course is when yeah. the... Uh, when the, the application is due. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Overlaps. I don't know if they like let you do that. So I had to talk to my counselor, but if not, I'll just save money and do it the next round because I yeah. already got everything else out of the way. How long is dental hygienist school? A year and a half. Oh, okay, so you're really not that far oh, out. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fast, and then you you do the last half is just internships, and you're just doing clinicals. And right. That's it. And then she can be the sugar mama. <laughs> then she can be no sugar mama. <laughs> Get rid of that loan. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse the gender roles. <laughs> yeah. How um, oh I I just lost it. Something about the job. Oh, where do you want to go to school? 
Oh, I'm dental. going to St. P. College right now. Actually, for, for uh, dental hygiene. Oh, they they're yeah they the, do a course and everything. Is it like a feeder program? Um, it depends. You can do a dental assistant program with them and then feed off of that into the dental hygiene program. But if you don't want to do that, you can just do your gen eds and then just apply um, like anyone else and just get in. But you want to stay at St. Pete? Yeah, I okay. want to stay in that general area. But um, they also do all online courses for the most part. So if we did move somewhere else, I could still go to that college. Oh, nice. Yeah, and just finish out there. And they're a good school, too. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. I think that's where uh, my mom yeah. got her stuff, too. Yeah, SBC. Lynn was telling me about it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Hell yeah. <laughs> getting some money. <laughs> <laughs> Paper. Paper. <laughs> yeah, I want to get my MBA at some point. MBA being, what is that? Master's in Business Administration, I think. Okay. I just want a, a Master's in Business. Yeah. Probably. Well, Maybe good. like a tech-focused one. Yeah. But I don't want to pay for it. So I want to wait for a company to be like, hey, your management material, here you go. <laughs> or you can find your sugar mama. That's all that matters. I could just find my sugar mama. <laughs> Got to find out. Go to like, uh, what is it, Bayshore. Find yourself a rich, Just do a know, jog or a lap. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go to Winter Park and I'll bring Pat's dog. There you go. <laughs> wait for them to come up and pet it. So, yeah. we, need to, we need to create a business. We need to go into business together. Oh, we, we came up with that business we, idea. We did. We did. And I think we should see something. We should uh, we should figure that out. Okay. Let, we're going to say it now so that this is like our, our um, patent. Intro into it. Yeah, it's like pa- a patent. Pa- I don't think it works that way. You got but, but we can claim that we did it first. Trademark first. it. We just have to do it. <laughs> we should Google and see if it actually exists too. We, we probably should. <laughs> yeah, it might. But I think it's a great idea because how many times have you been driving? I have thought about it my entire life. Me I was too. Like, you know, because I know they make those boards. Like how difficult would it be just to like preset those yeah and just you know have, and then have install it in your it. windshield just fucking sit, like up behind it not even out in the elements just right there and it'll poke through the glass that light will be mm-hmm. perfect. i mean i think the only issue is is there's so many different car types yeah. but for, first let's explain what it is okay so the idea is how many times have you been driving and you want to say something to the people on the road that isn't this <laughs> or i'm sorry <laughs> yeah this. not a middle finger and not a wave <laughs> but so the idea is to have one of those LED strips that has a uh, some sort of computer like a Raspberry Pi or Arduino attached to it with a preset number of uh, buttons you can press. So if you accidentally cut someone off, you can say, oops, sorry. Or fuck you. Or uh, fuck you, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I singled you out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like the way you look. <laughs> this is because of last Tuesday. <laughs> I'm bald. <laughs> I know. I know what you did. <laughs> so yeah, but you know what? I could also see that being a problem. Like, could you imagine? Like, if it actually took off, every car has that. Like, you just have a whole bunch of fucking scrolling messages on your gridlocked highway. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's just Quit like... honking at me, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that'd be funny. I, if it was something that ever got really big, I think car manufacturers would just start. Oh yeah, implementing okay, it. sell it as long as it's enough. Like realistically retire on cool even if it's not like yeah, if I'm, I'm if we could get if we did it for like two years this is total right, bullshit like <laughs> world but if we did it for two years and sold it for a hundred grand on, like yeah, on, I mean, on, <laughs> on top of every all the work we did so if we were, Wait, I mean, we were like 25 grand a year for each of us but don't look there's, don't, only, there's only two people but don't look at it as a year look at it as you now have this lump sum mm-hmm. Okay. So this is, let's say we're, we're completely neutral at the end of those two years. Okay. And then someone says, here's an additional $100,000, let me have. Like a, like a big company. Right. Not, not only good networking, but to have 50 grand each to just pay off loans. But here's the question. All right, so if it's a big company, let's say like, I don't know, any big... Car- Ford. Ford. There we go. Let's go with them. They came to you and said, all right, we'll give you 100 bucks. At that point, when you have such a huge company, look, you know, wanting your product, I mean, is it really a good idea to sell at that point or just to hold out? And wait for it to come bigger. Oh, at that point, I would want to negotiate higher. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> because, like, if you're interested in it, I'm sure fucking Chevy over here is going to be interested in it too. I bet you they'll pay a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. You definitely got to play them against it. Right. But otherwise, those big companies, it's very easy for them to just take it. Just take it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's not a complicated idea. We're just going to integrate it into our now completely. Uh, side spanning uh, tail lights. Yeah, I was, about, I was just about to pull that up. Like, yeah, we have this now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, and completely separate idea. There we go. We just made a new idea. <laughs> Bam! We are the best. Right? That's kind of that's how I don't know if that's how backup cameras happened, but backup cameras you can buy um, external ones, right. and install them, and now they're legal, legally standard. 
by since right. anything after 2015. Well, backup cameras were actually first introduced like when the first cars were made. There was some jackass who took a big ass like one of the first video cameras. You can look it up. Giant ass fucking camera mounted to the back of his uh, car, uh-huh. or and I don't know how you know what kind of screen technology or anything like that. But again, through Donut Media, yeah, shameless plug, <laughs> <laughs> which is not even a plug. But anyways, check him out. Um, but yeah, that's again, that's like one of the histories that I I, I saw on them, and, and they had like pictures of it and everything like that. So that's that was wild. pretty cool. So, yeah. yeah, so many like ideas have been like the electric car has been around been, for a long, long since time. The, again, since the beginning of cars. Yeah, we the museum that I was telling you about. Uh, in St. Pete has one and like oh really yeah and their ranges were like they were ridiculous it was like 200 miles mm-hmm. but, granted they weren't fast but still yeah <laughs> yeah. it's just like something like that was like wow you know our electric cars now have three four hundred and like you know, a couple but the power is oh yeah completely different. exponentially larger right mm-hmm. and I think the big limitation factor there with like today's electric cars is we our battery technology mm-hmm. and what is it like uh, not resistors or conductors like silicone is like the best we've got I think yeah i'm not too big on computer stuff i don't i don't know either i want to say silicone and then now there's like graphene which is still very difficult basically graphene is a single uh a single layer of carbon Mm -hmm. and it's super conductive um that's basically the big thing it's it's just crazy expensive because there's no way to mass produce it yeah they can get like little shards of it and it's basically taking a piece of tape and sticking it to a piece of uh pencil lead which is graphite Mm -hmm. just pulling it off Really? Yeah, and it's like, oh, cool. We have a single layer of uh, carbon here. <laughs> like, that's not what I was now, thinking. Now make a battery. Right. <laughs> make this into something that's this big as a table. And God. then we'll make it into some super material. <laughs> yeah. So, because I think, I don't know. Again, I'm not a, I'm assuming the reason that like graphite, which is just straight up carbon, mm-hmm. isn't like super strong. is because like the, the way it's, the molecules are bonded Like together. the structure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming that just creates a lattice. And then I'm, I'm assuming if you just took a whole bunch of those and layered on top of it, you'd have something completely different. What's a lattice? As, um, like a Chris, it's like crystal. Yeah, crystal crisp, lattice. Like, like it's just like, boom. Like here, your mole, like is it, is molecule, it a pattern? Molecule, molecule, yeah, it's molecule, like a, yeah. a diamond pattern. Oh, okay. Like like imagine yeah, yeah. a fence, like a chain link fence. Yeah. And the cross points are your molecules. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Just, okay. You know, they're bonded that. Just way. like a, a strong right. bond. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the. And again, I could be wrong, but that, from my understanding, that's with the chemical. Or the atomic composition of graphene is so huh but then again it's also been out for like 10 years mm-hmm. and there's nothing come of it so nothing mass produced at least right i think there's so much stuff that happens like business to business or or um government before it comes to us yeah that, i and don't know there's just a lot of hands in it so like some of the things that could really help the world don't necessarily see the light because mm-hmm. of well people money yeah can yeah, it. it's got to be that's, profitable. That's yeah. the whole reason. I mean, marijuana is illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a slow drag and from it, the sixties. It's 60s. just something like that that's ridiculous <laughs> because oh, I don't want to lose money. And I don't give a fuck if it's better for everybody else. It's good for the health or the population or what have you. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, it's gonna make me lose money, regardless of the fact that I am unbelievably rich. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. part of it too. I believe is that uh, corporations, once they go public, are legally required to do what's best for the company, yes. not what's best for you and I had that discuss- discussion last time I was here. Yeah. So I mean, and, and so it's again, like, like their their hands are tied in a way, and like it becomes a game too. Yeah, it, that's exactly what it is, and it's it's hard to like once you start looking at it, it's like okay, yeah, I understand it, but it still sucks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to end on a downer note. So <laughs> we're gonna go in the hot tub, and that's gonna be fun. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. Cause, so Don, this is the first time Donovan or Donald and I have ever competed, and uh, we we kind of we kept pace the entire time. We we did it as a group. So there, there was four of us. And we did it as a group, but at the end we started sprinting, and we found out that I am much faster yes, than you, you are. are. <laughs> I I didn't know that. Neither did I. I. I would have figured the other way. But yeah. Of course, that's just overconfidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have height on me, and I figured because you had that kind of military training that maybe... Yeah, it doesn't mean shit. No. It really doesn't, especially when it comes to reserves, someone who's not actively doing it every day. Fair, fair. Well, then we'll, we'll end on the fact that I'm faster than you, and uh, Andrew's probably faster than you, but just not running to make you feel better. And next year, we're going to become millionaires due to our idea. Yes. Up- done. Yeah, Optimism. Ha ha. High five. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. Woo! Yeah. You're in on this. Oh. You're, you're in on this by default. Yeah. <laughs> by proxy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. This was our Savage Race before and after. A little bit of an experimental thing. 
Um, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and love your faces. I don't love your faces. He doesn't. I do. <laughs> Say bye, Andrea. Bye. Bye. <laughs>